Okay, what we're going to talk about today is a an instant water heater. Okay, this has been installed about two years, and it failed uh, right after the warranty expired. So, uh, you know, instant on water heater, electric elements inside, take the top off, you see some of that. Uh, we've got our little tanky poo thing here. There's three elements in it. Each element is 6 kW, so it's a total of 18 kW. This is the electronics. I'll take the cover off of this so you can take a look at it. But this thing failed. Now, first, when I first saw that it had stopped working, I thought it was possibly because one of the flow sensors had failed. There's a couple of flow sensors in here. They allow the thing to turn on when the water's running because you can't have it on when the water's not running because there's no tank here. There's just water running through. So uh, that's what I first thought it might be. But then I got looking at it and the display was gone and power was available. So then I had to see if I could figure out what had actually happened to this thing. Well, uh, I'll go through some of the checks I did. You know, I checked voltage and so on. I've got, of course, disconnected now because I'm going to be checking the elements on this thing and these ECOs. Now, there's two e or three ECOs, one for each element, one there, one there, and one there. What those are for is if an element burns out, that doesn't mean it stops heating. Depending on how much resistance there is in the water and if it has actually burned through the metal casing of the element, uh, it may continue to heat. Maybe not near as much, but it will still heat. And so you have these ECOs, energy cutout, in case something like that happens, because it cuts all power to it. You know, this is a 240 volt, and if you just cut one line, which is usually what we do when we uh, control these things, we just shut off one side of the line, it stops operating. But if there is continuity between the elements and the water, which will mean continuity to this here, which is grounded, it will continue to heat and conceivably uh, could explode this thing. Because there's no, uh, there's no uh, pop-off for these things. Most applications, they do want you to put a pop-off in, uh, in the circuit, but it isn't required everywhere. This one did have a pop-off on it. But uh, anyway... That's kind of how this thing works. Let's take a look at the electronics. Okay, so looking at this thing with the cover off of it, we've got three switches there. Okay, those are the control switches that turn the elements on. Remember I said there were three elements, 18 kW, six each. Uh, these are the shutoffs. Uh, if there is water flowing through, it allows the elements to come on and uh, through these switches and they will uh, heat until they get to the proper temperature that you've set and then uh, the electronic board shuts them off. So what this was doing is it was kicking these uh, ECOs off. I'd have to reset them, and it would start to work again. It didn't always kick all of them off, but uh, it kicked, uh, sometimes it kicks two out of three or something. It still shuts the machine down, and it doesn't work anymore. But, so why did this thing do this? Uh, now, if one of these switches had stuck on, 
then it would do it. That would do it. Because if one of the control switches leaves an element on and uh, it's physically stuck on, then the flow switch is not going to shut it off. So it could be something like that. And so let's do a little bit of troubleshoot on this thing to see if we can figure out what happened. I can try to troubleshoot these because maybe one of these stuck closed or something, but I kind of don't think that's the issue. And one of the things about troubleshooting that's probably the best thing to do, when you're looking for a problem, you start with power coming in and then you jump to power going out. That gives you an idea of where you were. Now, I don't have power hooked up to this thing. What I did when I troubleshot this was I checked the power coming in here, and then I went to the elements. These are the elements here. One element across here, one element across here, and one element across there. So now, with this reading, we're going to find out exactly what's, what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to go in the top element to the chassis. I get a little different reading, 2.8 kW. On the other side of this element, I get zero. That element is almost certainly broken. Okay, and I'm going across the element, it is totally OL. So there is no continuity to the element, but there is continuity from this side of the element to the chassis. Now what's happening with that element, very simply, is this side, which has the continuity to ground, is going to feed power through this side to the ground through the water. That's why the ECO is cut off. Because when I turn off the, uh, the controls, as each of the control, uh, the thermostat controls, let's get that a little wider here. Here, they only break one side of line. So, if I have the other side of line and it has this continuity right here, then through the water, it's going to feed power through. It's not going to feed a whole bunch. It's not going to heat up really fast, but it will heat up this tank because there's power going through it. And that's what kicked off these ECOs. Let's go a little farther. We'll double check this one again. This one is OL between the two terminals. OL on this side and has resistance on that side. Center element. Now that's 9.19 ohms. That's ohms, not kilo ohms. So let's go to ground. No continuity. Go over here. No continuity. So that element's good. Let's go to the bottom one. We have continuity to ground on that side. Here, we have continuity. No, we don't have continuity at all. That element is broken. So when I go here across this element, I'm going to read OL. Okay. That, we've troubleshot this. There's not much we can do except throw the whole thing away, but... <laughs> because you, I don't know if you can replace those elements or not. I'll uh, probably try to tear it out of there, but I don't think it's going to work. The elements are bad. There's one good element out of three. The other two have, uh, uh, you can say they have opens because they do, but they're, they're still shorted. And uh, a small amount of power will go through that element to ground and it'll overheat this, this pot here and kick those off. I hope this all makes sense. Uh, this is a uh, kind of
kind of a cheapy little thing, and it wasn't much good. <laughs> so, uh, the last only the last two years, but that's how you'd troubleshoot something like that. And uh, I guess that's it on this one.